As Somerville Mayor Joe Curtatoni tells it, the death of the Green Line extension would be a public policy tragedy. This is the most important transportation project in Massachusetts. 18 million square feet of new development, 30,000 new jobs, $5.5 billion to the Massachusetts economy. Ann Curtatoni says the project is also a matter of principle for Massachusetts. Will we be economically competitive in the 21st century global economy? Can we create and spark local economies? The good news, Curtatoni says, is that despite a billion dollar increase in the extension's estimated price tag, there are still ways to get it done, including shortening the route and building more Spartan stations. What we need are stations along the line. They don't have to be real elaborate, but what is most important is the Green Line keeps moving forward. If there's a part of Somerville that embodies the promise and the perils of the Green Line extension, it's right here in Union Square. This neighborhood's far more vibrant than it was just a decade ago. And if it gets its own T station, like it's supposed to, it could be transformed beyond all recognition. But there are some Somervillians who say that's not a scenario that they welcome. There are big plans for growth in Union Square, and it's a community that's already overtaxed on the road situation. And even though the T supposedly would help that, anytime you start building, um, you're bringing in more traffic. Nan Hamilton lives in Somerville, and she's run her nonprofit pottery studio on Pearl Street for three decades. An expanded green line could bring thousands of potential students a short walk from her front door. But Hamilton doesn't relish that prospect. Instead, she's concerned about the changes underfoot in Union Square and Somerville as a whole. The way the development is happening, it will be upper end. And if you look at what people are doing now, they're buying condos, speculating they'll be able to sell it for more and more. And what that does is going to decrease the, de the, the, the population diversity. And that bothers me. But while halting the Green Line extension might slow those changes down, it probably wouldn't stop them altogether. And there's another caveat. As Curta Tony notes, the Green Line extension stems from a legal settlement linked to the big dig. This is a legal obligation. This project has to be built. Otherwise, the Commonwealth would have to put forth substitute projects whereby the cost of those projects would go through the roof as well. Adam Riley, WGBH News.